Hey everybody, it's Adam from the Sea Stories Podcast. The following is a clip from our podcast. It features what I consider a classic sea story structure that sailors might tell each other while eating chow or during liberty over some drinks. I hope you enjoy. Um, before we get into our interview with Jay, uh, you know, we're me and Jay were, were chatting, uh, DM each other back and forth, and he sent me an interesting picture. And so I want to kick off with this. Uh, just one second, I'm going to share my screen. <laughs> no. Can you guys see that? <laughs> okay. Jay, for our audio audience, why don't you describe what we're looking at? So, when you were a kid, there were candy necklaces, and the candies looked like little Oreo or uh, Cheerios, right? But they were real hard, like a sweet tart material yeah and uh it had that like rubber string and you would just bite on it and and so <clears throat> this was we did some operation where we went up north to canada and uh, we stopped in halifax and it was fc1 haney akuna of course because that was my road dog and I forget one other person was with us and we stopped in this candy store because somebody wanted to get some candy for their kid. And, you know, the guy behind the counter, I mean, they had everything, garbage pail kids, stickers. I mean, they had everything. So uh, I saw that kind of sitting on a shelf in the background. So I was like, oh, I got to have that. And uh, took it back to the ship. Now, mind you, the, the back of it doesn't it's not a thong it doesn't go up the crack right so you, you don't get like chocolate covered candies right <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a jock strap right so you know of course we go to the bar we get you know our drinks in and we head back to the ship and uh you know everybody's you know feeling a little liquid courage so you know everybody's like oh put it on man you know let's mo model it for us so I've got like full deployment bush going on. So like the hairs are sticking out through the candies and everything. It's like, it's disgusting. So I run around the birthing area and I've got the, I mean, it sounds like the candy's like, you can hear it moving as I'm running through the bird and I'm like not wearing nothing else but this candy, right? Like a rattlesnake. <laughs> yes. And so there were people that were on duty that were sleeping and they were waking up. Everybody's like, it's it, it like turned into a party. Like everybody's like, watching me run around in this thing. And then I don't know who, but somebody pulls out some cash and I'm going to save his name. I'm not going to say his name, but they offered to pay him $300 to eat a piece. <laughs> well, the Navy has a stereotypes and some of those Bet between, between, let's just say that area between the front and the back. That's where he had to eat this piece <laughs> of candy from. <laughs> so, oh, no. <laughs> they got the three hundred dollars. They gave it to him, put it in his shirt pocket. He got, and I put one leg up on like the middle <laughs> rack so that he could access that region. And he <laughs> he went mm -hmm. nose, just buried his nose into it to try and get that piece of candy out. Mm -hmm. And he did it. He got mm -hmm. it, but he kind of bruised my gooch because he uh, <laughs> he bit down pretty hard. <laughs> but uh, he got his three hundred dollars. But to come to find out. It was 300 Seychelles rupees. So it was like 30 American dollars. Oh, no. <laughs> you the it, it wasn't me. Hey, thanks for watching. And catch up with us on all of our social platforms using the link you can find in the notes. Thanks.